going on guys it is your boy Sessa here brings a video here today bringing you guys a photoshop tutorial how to create your own very own cool um i think i'm gonna start a new series on this channel i'm gonna do like a kind of like i've been i've been loving doing a little stream kind of stuff like i said I did the panels last week um what i was thinking was i rather do like just fun little projects and in, in, in the sense of like doing like a twitch package that way i have, I have something else as well to do for like twitter like uh twitter like videos and whatnot so um i think it'd just be kind of fun to show you guys some like kind of cool stream packages to work from or kind of get ideas to do the stream packages and people who end up actually looking for stream packages can go ahead and kind of download the free template that we kind of do in the video here today you know what i mean so um realistically I'm just be working on one it, for the package itself we can work on a starting soon screen offline screen you know intermission screen all that kind of stuff i'm um, just trying to spice it up a little bit just have a little more fun with it and all that cool stuff so this is the kind of like little vibe we got going on for today's video which is more or less kind of just using I would just say like just cool little text patterns, you know, the patterns in the background here can be of course, uh, how do you say, you know, uh, what is the word I'm trying to look to say? It could be replaced with like logo designs, right? You know, you have your logo design in the background here. Uh, it doesn't have to say offline. It could say like your name or whatnot. But uh, yeah, I think it'd be pretty fun, pretty cool to do. And uh, for the record, guys, I am in so much my, my mouth. My mouth is like, I, if, if you guys didn't know, I had all four of my wisdom tooth taken out. So it like really hurts to talk right now. Um... So if you see me like just like just stop talking, it's literally the reason why I apologize. Um, this week has been really hard, honestly, when it comes to like talking, and I had the most freaking prominent or two like ridiculously crazy important calls, and <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just get this video here going today, and uh, yeah, thank you guys just of course 200 likes on the video, you can see down below, which will most likely be like I said the cool little Twitch package and like cool stuff. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this thing, and uh, yeah, let's get this thing going. Ugh. All right, guys. So overall, this pretty cool little clean style to this thing. Let me just fix the camera a little bit. Um, is actually fairly straightforward and actually really easy to do as well. Um, so I'm just gonna just kind of just take this off for a second. So basically, the first thing that I ended up doing, like I said before, like honestly, like I said before as well, this is just doing the offline screen for this uh, case. So the text is gonna be like you know saying offline um, for our background. So the first thing that I ended up doing was just literally just typing in the word offline, right? And I put it in all capital letters. Offline, the font that I believe I used for this video was uh, Ar Armin. Armin, I forgot where I found this one at, but it was a pretty dope font. It was very cool, like futuristic, but yet still kind of sans serif and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so I typed in offline just like so, right? And now, if, if you guys do this in Illustrator, you can do it in Illustrator. There's, there's a lot more cool little prominent patterns you can do. Like, uh, I don't know why I say the word prominent so much. Um, cool little pr patterns you can do. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not even saying the right term. Um, <laughs> there's really cool patterns you can do anyway, right? You can do it like a little hex kind of pattern. You can do it diagonally. You can do it with multiple copies in the sense of like kind of changing it around a little bit. Um, but in Photoshop, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the way I just basically do it is I'm just going to use uh, edit and then define brush just simply make it a simple define brush just call it whatever it is that's perfectly fine and the point of this is to make a new layer okay on that new layer you just simply just press alt and backspace quick fill it with any color alt and backspace quick fill it with the actual foreground color that you have working on um doesn't really matter what the color is it doesn't really matter at all because you just take the fill lower it down to zero and what this will do is basically take the opacity of the image itself and like lower it down to zero but at least keep all the cool little layer styles so i'm going to the uh, pattern overlay now and now the fourth, the third one here should be the one that I just did. Yep. So you can see like how, uh, just like if I put it on like a hundred scaling, it'll be pretty much okay. There we go. So like the hundred scaling is going to be exactly where we start off with when we typed it in. But if I just take the scaling and just drag it down to the left, which is basically making it smaller, they're going to have more and more and more pop up because that's basically like saying, Hey, this is the 1080p little, um, zone that we just did it in. So I'm just going to lower it down until I get like a pretty good amount of them. And I'll say... 13 is pretty cool. We're going to press OK on that one. And uh, with that being said here, I'm going to kind of just move it. And that's going to be fine. So now I want to rotate it, right? Since you saw in my little example here, I actually have it rotated. Um, but for this case, if you try to rotate it right now, it's just going to be it's just going to rotate the actual framing itself because the actual um, pattern overlay is just it's actually not rotated. Um, sorry. And I'm just going to go ahead and rasterize the layer style. That way, that way we want to rotate it. It'll actually rotate. Go. Cool. And we're going to go ahead and just hold Alt and Shift, click the corner. Make it a little more bigger and then make it a nice little rotation here. I kind of want to make sure I fill these spaces pretty well. Okay. And now there we go. I kind of like how this is. I'm going to move this a little bit over here. Okay. I don't want too much empty space, but that looks pretty good. So now that we have a little offline background, kind of like, you know, kind of set the whole pattern thing going. What I'm going to firstly do is I'm going to take this first one we have. Uh, we're just going to put this on overlay. So the first one is going to be on overlay. Overlay opacity, I mean, right? 
The second one, I'm going to make an actual duplicate of it. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to change it to normal. And I'm going to just lower the opacity on the, uh, or excuse me, I'm going to get rid of the, I'm just going to hide the, the overlay one for a second. So you see what I'm going to do for this actual duplication one. I'm going to type in the word gradient, right? Just so you know, this next one is going to be a gradient. So I'm going to go type in gradient overlay. And for this gradient, I just kind of have this really cool little sort of like, you know, green to like a blue, um, very kind of subtle green of blue. Um, it's not actually even like too uh, blue. It's more or less just like a simple green. Uh, anyway, the hex code for this for the first one here for the green is actually hex code 8FE. 5a1 press ok and then for the next one is going to be uh 71 e c e5 right just like so press ok twice and now i want to make sure i kind of have these i'm gonna reset the alignment really quick and i'm gonna make sure that it uh the scaling is at 150 let's put it at 100 there we go i want to be able to see the color shifts there we go all right so with this now i'm gonna go ahead and just turn on that overlay again right and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just simply just click this little uh, button here. It's gonna give you the little, uh, how do you call it, the uh, layer mask, right? So this is, if I take my brush, and I'm gonna take a pretty cool little gradient brush, or excuse me, I meant to say grunge brush. Um, you can do whatever heck you guys want to use, like whatever brushes you guys got, uh, whatever you guys, brushes that you guys end up having. Um, I'm pretty sure for like one of the secret nails that I did for like either last week or two weeks ago, um, there was actually a brush like this. So if you guys had that downloaded, you're all good to go. Otherwise, of course, this is actually one of my brushes from the uh, brush pack itself for $5 on Selfie. But like I said, I did give away a copy of one of these kind of brushes. Um, but basically, all I'm going to basically do is I'm going to take my brush here. So if I use a black brush, it'll erase. And I'm just going to click just like so and kind of just erase a little bit around these little areas here just to give myself a cool little look and a little bit of a vibe to it. I do like how that looks. I want to fill it back in. I just put it on white just like so, right? And uh, what I'll do, I'll say, I'm going to go to the overlay one this time. I'm going to just put the same exact little layer mask on it. And this time, I'm going to use an actual soft brush. And so for this one, make sure it's black so I can erase. I'm going to just erase it a little bit on some different little spots here. And over here as well. I'm going to switch this up and just kind of erase a little bit over here. There's a lot going on. I kind of want to have it be kind of like almost um, just I want it to really feel like a background. So you want to make sure you kind of go into detail of not keeping too much too much color in the background here because you don't want to be like the, the you don't want to be the actual center of attention right so with that being said now i think the last thing i'm gonna end up doing is basically do it just over again so on this overlay one i'm gonna make a duplicate we're gonna call this one a stroke right and we're gonna take this layer mask and i'm gonna just fill it all back in so it's basically gonna be like this right it's gonna basically be the entire thing we did in the beginning again right so this time i'm gonna just take the fill lower it all the way down to zero on this stroke of course you probably thought about it it's gonna be layer last stroke um layer style stroke excuse me and the size is gonna be one all that good stuff the center that's perfectly fine everything's white pretty good right there and i'm just gonna rash it layered again i don't really need to but i just wanted to and i'm gonna put an overlay this time again and this time we're just gonna kind of like put it right around here i like how that looks and then we're gonna also just put the layer mask on it take our brush a nice little soft brush and just erase in a few spots and now what this really just setting yourselves up for is like a really cool, very kind of just like a neat little uh, pattern background just by using just literally the word of whatever like, you know, setting this happens to be like this is offline. If you were doing like a starting soon screen, this could be like saying starting uh, starting soon or or, you know, this can say like, you know, starting, you know, what I mean, for the offline versus offline. So it just really all depends on like what you want to really go for in that sense. And uh, last but not least, uh, last thing I'm going to end up doing is take the gradient one. And this time I'd call it uh, light. Because what's gonna happen here is I'll fill this back in by the way too, so that way it's all filled back in. So all I had not doing is pressing Control uh, Backspace, it'll quick fill it into white, and you guys know that white puts it back in. Black will erase, and so this time I'm gonna go to Filter, I'm gonna go to Blur, I'm gonna go to Motion Blur, and with that being said, before I actually do that, I'm gonna have to make sure I click on this. There we go, Blur, Motion Blur, and this is what we're gonna do just kind of like find the angle that this is going in. So it's kind of like. In this angle here you see how like I'm trying to follow the angle and I think that's pretty accurate to how it is I can put the distance up a little bit more if it needs to be press ok and I'm just gonna simply just uh, oops rash the layer okay and then I'm just gonna put a, a layer mask on it take the black brush and just erase in a few spots again just to kind of get this really cool little streaks going on in the background um hmm. I want to take some white again as well and kind of fill some of it in again kind of like how that is for right now until you put the like the text or something like that in here you know what i mean all right so well, i'm gonna put the text in now so i'm just put the word uh starting oh no stream right slash slash is what i did right and then i made the little slashes this nice little green that we had before uh 
just like so please there we go right and then we're going to shrink this down a little bit and then stream offline is what i said we're gonna do right and then for the offline text i ended up using i forgot what actual font that i ended up using let me see i ended up using oh, okay so it was like a gotham right i believe it was probably gotham narrow but it was definitely offline Oh, question though. I actually haven't did a video since I updated my Photoshop, but what do you guys think of the actual uh, little Photoshop update? I actually changed everything back when it, to, uh, to the part where, sorry if I whistled, um, actually changed everything back where I had to actually, uh, you know, holding shift to like move everything. It, I don't know. I don't know what that was all about, but I was not a fan of it. I'm just curious what your guys' thoughts are. If like you guys are new to Photoshop and whatnot, if it, if it helped you personally, I think personally, if you're someone who kind of like just got into Photoshop, that would not be a bad move to kind of keep it as is, but in the sense of someone who's been like using Photoshop for so long, I can definitely tell you that I was not the biggest fan of like the, the shortcut updates, but I did revert everything back to default when it comes to all the updates of uh, all the shortcuts they messed around with. Um, what I just basically did was separate the word off and then the word line. That way I can go ahead and just make the word line this really cool little gradient. So it kind of gives me a nice little color as well, just like so, right? And with this, I'm just gonna simply just add one more other thing. I'm gonna turn off the gradient. I made a duplicate of it, right? The duplicate of the word line. And I'm gonna turn the turn down the fill. I turned off my gradient, but I'm gonna turn on a linear dodge. Uh, excuse me, linear glow, and put on linear dodge add. And reason for this is let's just mess around with this a little bit more. Reason for this is I get to kind of rasterize this, put this back on a nice little blend mode that we kind of want. Just kind of like have it highlight the edges a little bit, kind of see what it's doing a little bit, and then just throw on a little bit of that little layer mask. Right, turn it. Tur take our black soft brush please go back over there all right where is it there we go jesus i'm just gonna erase a couple spots now i don't know if this is the the right one that i want to use but something like when you dodge add is pretty good for this right there right all right that that works right so kind of just adds a little bit of a kind of this a little bit of a housing i would just say if this is a nice little simple like kind of like a sharp it's like sharpening the text itself in all honestly is what i kind of would kind of refer that to I'm gonna take the word stream. I'm gonna type in what do I type in. Uh, follow to know when I go live! Exclamation point for all that enthusiasm. And this is well, I believe I used Nexa. Oh no, I didn't use Nexa. I used uh, got the medium. I don't know why. Follow to know when I go live. All right. Okay. Shrink this down a little bit and then just like so just kind of separate a little bit more put them like three just a nice little subtext just a little just a little something some kind of have it fill in some space there if i don't know when i go live we'll make it nice little green there and uh okay i'll make it a little bit more bigger there we go i kind of like how that looks so this is looking pretty good so far i really do honestly like how it's coming out uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and just move this out a little bit more so in some areas, I'm finding that I'm just kind of like having a harder like read like little, that little subtext here. Maybe a little bit of this here needs to get worked around with. So we just take the word gradient, take uh, click on a little fill here, and I'm just gonna make sure I kind of erase a couple spots that I do not, you know, want it to hover or kind of like take too much. Uh, I guess like looking at it, you don't want it to like have it look like it's taking too much out of like the spacing itself. Um, that looks pretty good. All right, that doesn't look too bad anymore. All right, cool. So last but not least, I ended up just doing was this very little simple little sidebar here. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do a little simple little light thing as well. So the little sidebar, I ended up just literally just using the mar uh, Recto Marquee tool to probably figure that one out yourself. You can put it on the bottom, you can put it on the top. I like to just put it on the side because I don't know what, it just feels like it just has a little aesthetic to it. And I'm just gonna fill it in with any color because I'm just gonna take my gradient and then put the gradient on just like so, right? And uh, for this, I'm gonna make it a little flower more, a little better. There we go. And then I'll just move it over a little bit more just to kind of have this cool little sidebar, just kind of have it look just just cool, right? I mean, if you guys really wanted to as well, if you wanted to have like your offline screen be like green to uh, blue, and then you want to have, or your offline screen maybe be red, right? Um, just for the sake of just knowing what, it, to what I mean, like I'm just, I, I wouldn't suggest doing human situation, but imagine if it was like red or whatnot, I, this is, that is terrible, but if this was red and then like your offline or your starting soon screen was like blue or green, and then like your, your ending screen was like orange or something like that, you know what I mean? To kind of have that be like that little, um, kind of theme going on with there, but you can just change the sorry but sidebar color as well with that. Um, and then last one, like, like last bit, last but not least, like I said, um, above the little light one right here, I'm gonna make a new layer, 
<clears throat> we're gonna use a soft brush and we're gonna use white and we're just gonna simply just click just like so and kind of just have this be like a nice little glow coming out from the bottom I'm gonna do it a little bit more toward the middle of this text here kind of have that bleed through a little bit I think that looks pretty nice right just kind of have that color in there let me see you know, definitely I think maybe like putting it below everything yeah putting it below everything is probably the the move there and just adds a little bit of nice little kind of like just a little bit of a how do you say um finesse to it a little bit and I feel like I haven't did this in the other preview but I'm curious to what it would look like if I actually did a little pattern in the background as well with an actual pattern you know what I mean like the little line patterns let's put this back to 100 so we can see it and then it didn't change I don't know what's going on with my zero key, but it's like not doing anything on oh, my number pad. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm going to make it a little bit more. That would work. Let's put it back to a hundred. Let's go to like multiply or something. Ooh. Okay. That definitely does look kind of pretty. I'm not even going to lie to you. You can see how it looks. I don't know if you can tell what your screen is. If you guys don't have like HD screens or whatnot, but it looks really, really nice, honestly. Just adds a little bit of a, kind of like a, almost like a, uh, just a cool little darker texture to it. And it kind of looks pretty cool. So what I would like to do with it is use the same little pattern um, brush that I used before. Let's use a white, or excuse me, black to erase. But you can see it erase like that and kind of just add a little bit of a texture in the background. Um, yeah, that kind of looks kind of cool. Kind of looks messy when you do it in that way, but maybe if I did it more like, just kind of like something like that, what it look is messy. I don't know. I kind of like it. I'll leave it just for the heck of it. Why the hell not? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the whole premise of like this little theme of this um, style here. Uh, just kind of like taking and just really just working with more like this kind of like pattern simplistic style of it and kind of just like using, like I said, the words themselves and not using really anything other crazy stocks just to make a really cool backing and just make it look really attractive. And honestly, I, I really do like how it looks. What I kind of want to do now is just quickly um, just combine everything together, convert it to a smart object, bring it to filter, camera filter raw. And if I would like to, um, so you can see before and after, sorry, my freaking mouth, um, before and after this little Y down here, put my clarity up a little bit, <clears throat> you can see what it's doing as well. It's making it a little more darker as well because the colors are kind of blending in. If you guys have that problem where it gets too dark, take your blacks here, just move it up a little bit, right? But you can see how the, the words offline, all that cool stuff, the pattern as well kind of shows up more heavier, which is very, very, very good. As you can see how like the word offline just pops out way, way more. It's way more sharpened. Um, press OK. I would love to do that just so it kind of looks really, really nice. And in the end, it looks like a very nice, cool um, offline screen. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fairly big fan of that one. I would even want to see what, I would love to see what it looks like if I did like, um, just why the hell not? I kind of want to see right now what it would look like if I just did like a secondary color, like an orange, blue. Ooh, that, that green is pretty awesome as well. Jesus, yeah. So this is like a really cool little fun style too. You can really just change things up. Just anything you end up changing one other, one after another. That other pink one was really nice as well. All right, so that's basically it. I just wanted to show you guys a really cool little theme to it. Like I said, um, for the secret download, of course, gonna have a good, cool little package. Like I'll maybe do like the offline screen, starting screen, avatar, and like some panels, right? To kind of like have that be a start. Cause that's basically the, the front facing or the, the face of what you pretty much see on the Twitch channel if you guys were to use a, uh, a stream package and whatnot. But um, thanks, I appreciate you guys very much for watching. Like I like my mouth right now, like too much information incoming, but like it's like it just, I, I can taste blood. Like it's not, I'm not even kidding. Um, I, I'm sure you guys understand if you ever had your wisdom tooth removed. Um, but yeah, I apologize for like just not streaming out all this week, but I literally need this week off because it was just, it was necessary. Honestly, it was super necessary. But anyway, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video here today. Like I said, turn likes on the video equals a cool little stream package. Of course, if you guys want to leave a like on the video, it'd just be like amazing and whatnot. Uh, comment thing, everything, excuse me, comment down anything you want to see me do, uh, down below. Maybe I'll just kind of do it and all that cool stuff. And, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I really just truly just want you guys to kind of just have fun with this and kind of take this kind of style to it, make it your own kind of thing and just have a little more fun. Uh, I've been doing this kind of style with it comes to uh, some of my client works. So, I mean, it, it definitely works. It definitely looks attractive. It's very pro uh, professional, very clean. And um, it doesn't look like too much of a template heavy kind of thing, right? It looks more or less kind of like fun and kind of like has this really cool vibe to it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Talk to you guys later. So this you out. Do not going to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys productive guys later. I'm, I gotta go, dude. Oh.